Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the uh, Symantec data loss prevention use case. Let's log in to the DLP solution WebGUI interface first. So, this is our DLP solution WebGUI. So, the use case we are going to work on is monitoring share folder access. By default, Simon Tech DLP doesn't support to monitoring a share folder, but we can find a good way to complete this use case. So first thing, of course, you need to have a good policy. You go to the policy list, you need to set up your good policy to make sure you're monitoring the data you want. So here is a policy I'm using right now. So you can monitor the sensitive data, spyware upload size, confidential documents, to make sure those rules should be able to cover your share folder content inside. Just make sure the file types the contents in your rules to cover most of the files under your share folder. Once you have this policy set it up, then you can go back to your instance, go to the endpoint. Here is your endpoint instance page. In here, that was showed all last 30 days new instance. How can we get who is accessing your share folder, who is the most one to access the share folder copy data from. So basically we are monitoring who gonna take out of your share folder data mostly. So we need to have this kind of report. So first step, you create a good policy to cover the content in your share folder and then you come back to your instant endpoint page to filtering your data. So click advanced filters and summarization. And then you need to create a filter. So there's a use, there's a filtering criteria you can use is source file location. So since we are monitoring the data on a share folder, what we need to do is we need to put the share folder name here to filter those data out. For example, we have home share folder. So we can enter the share name here. This is our source file location. Anything in the instant has source file location include home share folder. It will be show here. So we can just apply 30 days users create generated instant which accessing that home share folder. Of course, it's still based on your policy. If you have policy to cover, I mean, to monitor the share folder files, then anything accessing the share folder will generate in this instant. And when they copy it from, which is source file location, is home share, like what shows here. From here, then you can do one more thing is summarize by users. So you can summarize by username to give you a nice diagram to see who has most copied from your share folder. You need to apply again. Perfect. That's the diagram you want to see. You can see who has mostly accessed or copied the data from your share folder in last 30 days from this share folder, home share. I hope this video can give you an idea how to monitor your share folder using Symantec DLP. 
may be using other DLP product, but at least it's a good way to monitor the shear fault access, which currently Symantec DLP is not able to directly monitor it. Thank you for watching.